why do we always have to think that we are doing better than people before we feel good before we feel happy about ourselves and how long do you want to continue hearing oh you are doing better than this person before you start feeling confident in yourself i feel like that message is just massaging your ego like it's just it's just making you feel good in that moment like let's be realistic there will always be somebody that is doing better than you like always there's going to be somebody that is better than you that is finer than you that is richer than you that is more beautiful more pretty than you are more intelligent than you are there's always just going to be that person like people that are better than you in many ways you are still you even without the hair you are still you with your old hair you are still you with your braids on if you're not content with where you are right now, if you have more, you'll still not feel contented. We shouldn't attach our accomplishments to what we have and what we don't have. Hi guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's just get right into business, guys. I'm going to talk about seven important things you need to learn in life. It doesn't matter the age the era you are in in your life the truth is that whenever you hear a message at whatever age you think you've heard that message that's the time you need the message that's why you're listening to that, that message at that point so it's not something for you to feel bad about that oh i, I wish i knew this earlier i wish i knew this nah, 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 nah. regrets are not our thing on this channel like we don't regret things we just we just go with how it comes like if you are listening to a message right now then it's now that god thinks that you need that message that's why you're listening to it now although it's always good that we learn things earlier in life and stuff but it's not your fault however or whenever the message comes that's when you need it so yeah take it like that number one it's normal to feel unqualified there's something called imposter syndrome let me read the meaning of imposter syndrome from google when someone has imposter syndrome they experience repeated feelings or thoughts that they are incompetent or not good enough despite evidence to the contrary these beliefs often have roots in someone's personal history and tend to play out in work academic or high pressure settings feeling unqualified is is something that most of us go through do you get like even me sometimes i'm like am i even supposed to be doing this like i'll, I'll hit a milestone and i'll sit and i'm like oh my god this is so much did i even do it correctly like am i even qualified to be here and whenever I come on here to talk to you guys, like I chat to you guys, I always feel like, oh my God, who am I? Who do I think I am to even come and pass this kind of message? Like, what do I think I have been through in life? Or what do I think I know that will make me come? Like, do I think I'm actually qualified to pass this kind of message to you people? Like, that feeling is so bad. Like, I know a lot of people experience it. I know a lot of people go through it. You're just always looking down on yourself downplaying yourself like when you hit a mouse instead of you to be happy be proud of yourself and all of that you just feel like you are not good enough you're not supposed to be the one doing that thing or like you, you just feel incompetent it's just the feeling it's in your thoughts but the fact is that you've already hit the milestone the fact is that you've already passed your exam the fact is that you already hit that business goal or hit that fitness goal you have so why are you still feeling bad like why do you still put it in your head that you are not the one that's supposed to achieve that thing is 100% you and that's why you hit it so don't feel bad about it you are qualified to do anything if you get to the top if you get to be a manager if you get to be whatever you want to be that is a high rank you are worth it that's why you're there best believe if you're not qualified they won't pick you so you are worth it you are qualified 100% that's why you are there don't even put it in your mind or put it in your thoughts that oh i'm not good enough if you're making content and you're like oh let me pass a message on love or relationship or this and you're like i'm not good enough what do i know why do i have to say this why do i have to do this people are going to say this and that you are good enough if you have the knowledge you're good enough pass that information pass that message you are 100 percent good you don't need anybody to tell you that you are good you are good if you need anybody to tell you that you are good i'm telling you now you are good if you're not qualified god is not going to give you that that brain that knowledge that you're using to pass that message or to, to do that particular job god is not going to god does not just do things just like that before he pushes you to the next level he makes sure that you are ready you are good you are you are going to be able to stay there and handle what he's passing to you that's how he works so why do you always come to tell yourself oh I'm not good enough it's just a feeling you get like it's just a feeling you need to know and by the time that feeling comes talk it out always reject it like talk it out always tell yourself you are good enough stand up for yourself like it's just in your head 
it's just in your head go back get a paper and pen write down everything that you've achieved that you are proud of write them down and go over them i did this i did that give yourself credit you have done good you have done enough can achieve more do you get hype yourself up you are more than qualified and that's why you are there number two you don't have to be doing better than anyone to feel confident i've seen that a lot of us including me when we hear immediately that when we are complaining about what's going on with us what's wrong with us and somebody you're complaining to you're confiding in tells you oh you are doing better than this person so people are praying to be in your shoes so people are praying to be why do we always have to think that we are doing better than people before we feel good before we feel happy about ourselves i mean it's not bad to give somebody that kind of encouragement that oh you're complaining this person is going through us do we really need to compare ourselves to people to feel good or do we really need somebody to come and tell us oh you are doing better than this person before we feel good like is this something that we are supposed to like is that how the kind of mindset we are supposed to have it's something that i do i even talk to people like when people are telling me complaining about stuff i'm like you're doing better than 100 percent of people like 80 percent like i always it's so it's encouraging like the, the phrase is encouraging but i feel like it's a narrative that we should change like we should just pull ourselves out of because how long do you want to continue hearing oh you are being better than this person before you start feeling confident in yourself i feel like that message is just massaging your ego like it's just it's just making you feel good in that moment like we never want to hear people are doing better than us the truth is that let's be realistic there will always be somebody that is doing better than you like always there's going to be somebody that is better than you that is finer than you that is richer than you that is more beautiful more pretty than you are more intelligent than you are there's always just going to be that person like people that are doing better than you that are better than you in many ways if you focus on yourself you are doing good like always remind yourself like you don't need anybody's validation that's you seeking validation the earlier you make peace with the fact that there will always be people that are better than you there will always be people that are living the life that you might never be able to live in. the earlier you do that the better for you your only competition should be you from yesterday that is your only competition what you are seeing in the mirror it's your only competition you don't have to be looking better than anybody you don't have to be doing better than anybody before you feel happy practice contentment contentment is something that we always forget like when we are in a particular phase or we are in a particular stage in life we're already moving forward we're already looking at the next place to smash so by the time we are there and we are not being grateful or we are not content with that place you are you just start comparison and the comparison drives us insane comparison is what makes us unhappy comparing ourselves to people because we want to be here and we are not there yet because we've seen people that are there if that person can get there you see you're going to get there why why can't you just tell yourself that it's a matter of time why can't you just be happy where you are i had to practice it like i had to learn that no if i continue like that i will remain unhappy forever like if you continue with that kind of mindset you're going to remain unhappy like for a very long time if you're going through a hard time Trust me, it's going to pass. Hard times don't last. Hard people do. And you don't need to be doing better than anybody before you feel good, before you feel okay, before you think that you are, you are making progress in life. You don't have to be better than anybody. Your only person, the only person you have to be better than is you from yesterday. You from your past. Do you get? So, you continue evolving because at the end of the day, like I said earlier, there's always going to be people that are doing better, that have more, that have more. Like, it's ju that's just how life is. That's just how God has made us in this world. Where there's nobody, even your fingers are not equal. So you cannot be equal. Like, you're not equal to anybody. You're not, you, are, you don't have equals. I don't even know why you want to even be equal to anybody. Or you want to hear that, oh, you are doing better than somebody before you feel good. That's, that's not, I know it's encouraging, but we should, we should try to retract that mindset we should try to change that mindset change that mindset you do not need to be doing better than anybody before you feel good you don't need that three stop attaching accomplishments to money and what you can or cannot afford this is something that we all do i am guilty you are guilty everybody is guilty of this like we always think that when i get this i'll be happy when i buy a car i'll be happy when I move to my new apartment, I'll be happy. When I get married, I'll be happy. When I buy this hair, I'll be happy. When I do this, I'll be happy. We should learn to stop attaching achievements to all of those things. Like, you are still you. 
even without the car. You are still you, even without the big apartment. You are still you, even without the hair. You are still you with your old hair. You are still you with your braids on. You are you, regardless of whatever. So we should try to be happy wherever we are. I know some people are having the barest minimum. The bare minimum that they are getting is still not easy on them. Like some people, their salary cannot even put food on their table. Again, I will still advise you, you will not remain there forever. Do what you can. Do not place your achievement on how much you are earning in a month. But I know money is important. Like money is very important. We have to have this. You have to have money to live a comfortable life and all. But... If you are not content with where you are right now, if you have more, you will still not feel contented. It's from the little things. We shouldn't attach our accomplishments to what we have and what we don't have. That's what we do. That's just human. That's that's the human thinking. I've been seeing some write-ups on the internet that people have been like, Oh, the year is in the middle. I've not achieved anything. I've not done this. I wanted to buy a car this year. I haven't been able to do that. I wanted to do this. I'm we are feeling bad, we are feeling depressed because other people are achieving that goal. But listen, let me tell you something. Check within yourself. Like, think very well. Think hard. There is something that you must have achieved this year that you just do not know. And do you know why you don't know? Because you are looking at other people. Because you are looking at the bigger things. Because, oh, you told yourself, I'm going to save up money this year to get a car or to move to my dream apartment and you have not been able to do it. So you think you've not achieved. Sis, you have achieved being able to keep yourself alive till this point is an achievement if you're able to go out and come back every day successfully peacefully is an achievement if you are in your fitness bag this year and you are going to the gym even if you're not seeing it on your body right now and you've been going to the gym for trust me it's an achievement for you to even be able to wake up from your bed and follow your routine till the evening of that day it's an achievement so stop attaching your achievement to what you can afford or what you you've been able to buy or what you've been able to get achievements can be anything as long as you put in effort you put in your skill you put in time and effort to do something and you get it successfully or you do it successfully it's an achievement achievement is not always oh because you've been able to get this or buy this car or move to this house that's not what it is if you have been able to cook or eat three square meal a day it's an achievement because you put in work you put in time and you put in your money to get that food on your table so that's an achievement you don't have to if you even stand up today to make content it's an achievement if you are able to do the things the small goals it's in the little things it's not always about the big things you don't always have to have it all before you think oh you've achieved look within you've achieved don't let anybody discredit you don't attach your achievement to material things Number four says, chaos is a normal phenomenon. We're not going to agree with this, but let me tell you guys why I said so. It's so easy to think that people's lives go smoothly. It's so easy to look at people and feel like, oh, this person has it figured out. This person has it. This person has the money. They have the car. They're going on the vacations. They're just doing everything. Everything is just going smoothly. But trust me. 100% be rest assured some that person has something that is disturbing them it might not be monetary it might just not be the things that are disturbing you but that person that you think is 100% that person has something that is disturbing them bigger than you they can be doing all the luxury things be happy and all of that but trust me everybody is going through one or two there is always always chaos like chaos is supposed to be something that you should not think it's only happening to us you cannot be unlucky from january to december it's not possible you cannot be unlucky from for one whole month i mean for one whole month is understandable but you cannot be unlucky from january to december so if it's happening if it's the time of the year for you and you are unlucky or you feel like you're unlucky or you are in chaos or your life is in chaos just calm down calm down it's going to pass everybody goes through it everybody has that time in their life where they are feeling down when they are depressed where they are like it, it just happens like you cannot as a human being you can't be happy 365 days it's not possible you can't like i've never seen anybody that wake up and tell me oh for one year they don't have any issues nothing happened to them it's not possible so for your life being in chaos does not mean that is the end of the road for you it's not just you it happens to everybody everybody has that time in their life where they are feeling down they are feeling like it's just so chaotic like things are just happening that they don't even know about do you get like it's it's normal so don't think that it's happening to just you or you are just the only person that is going through it it's not just you everybody's going through one or two if you're going through it calm down go through it pray to god you'll be fine five 
mental breakdowns are normal i think it's the same thing with the chaos like 100 percent trust me they are normal before i came to make this video as of two three days ago i had a mental breakdown i don't it just comes on interval like it, it comes it happens sometimes it, i don't even know the reason why i'm sad sometimes i don't even know the reason why i feel down what triggers it is when i think about stuff that i just think about random stuff or i think about where i'm yet to be which i told you guys earlier that is really not cool to think about some some of those things but listen it's unavoidable you are going to have those breakdowns making sure that it does not get the best of you it does not stop you from doing what you you are supposed to do because i was talking to a friend yesterday and we're like we're really down with the both of us and she was like oh she's going to leave social media and all and i told her at the end of the day if i said me i can't leave because in as much as i want to leave like i want to have that peace of mind like i want to just stay clear off the camera and and clear my head and all and i thought that we've done this thing over and over again like i've been in business here and then whenever i start feeling down i'll just switch up i'll delete my instagram i'll just, I'll just go out of business and then that thing ran me down a lot of times i lost money i lost customers you get like and i thought that i can't do it so that's like running away from your problems just the fact that you are not feeling good at that moment or you are having a mental breakdown at this point does not mean that tomorrow is going to be bad i just i just god i'm growing up so much it's me or before i'll tell her okay let's just do it let's just go let's go offline but i just told her i can't I can't afford to leave social media right now because i have you guys to talk to like for me to be going through it i know that there's somebody out there too that is going through that face and I need to talk to somebody and I need to say it so that somebody can be inspired by what I'm saying. I just said I can't go because I'm trying to build. If I leave this place now, I leave for two weeks, three weeks, my account is going to go down. Social media needs consistency. And if I leave for a month, what's going to happen? I have to come and start afresh. And I'm not doing that. Like it's been very difficult to get to where I am right now. So imagine leaving again. And I told myself this year, one thing I told myself this year is like, no matter what I'm going through, I have to remember. I'm not doing this thing for me alone in as much as when i talk to you guys i feel better i'm not doing this for me alone there are people out there that are waiting that this message might help and that's what i'm doing like i'm doing it for them that this is what god has put in me to do for them like some people need that encouragement some people are going to watch this video at that breaking point jige so i cannot afford to live here just because i feel down i'm just going to try my best I know it's not easy like it's it's really not easy you told me yesterday that i was going to come and sit in front of the camera all glammed up like this i would say it's a lie because i wasn't feeling good i was having a mental breakdown yesterday i know that some of us our tolerance level is a bit low but it's something that you have to learn you have to you have to make a decision because i made the decision and because i made the decision i always go through my journal and i see it and i'm like okay i cannot fret i can't go back on my words so i have to show up i have to do this no matter how i feel you have to be cautiously telling yourself reminding yourself why you started something you, you just have to keep showing up until you start seeing the desired result even with the whole mental breakdown take your break two days three days take your break but make sure you come back make sure you go to work make sure you do that thing that is putting food on your table don't leave it don't don't give up on your business just because you're not taking sales or you're not getting what you desire do not give up show up i'm telling you show up you're allowed to be to break down you are allowed if your body start giving you signs take that break take that two days three days break you need it dress up and go out mingle with people mingle with different people just try do the things that you you would not do on the normal and trust me you're going to feel better you feel a lot better mental breakdowns are normal you just need to know how to deal with them six stop being overly judgmental whether overly or whether you're judgmental if you're judgmental you're judgmental there's nothing like being overly judgmental everybody has been in that place but when you when, when we always say oh this could never be me i would never do this i would never do that god is going to show you 100 times why it can be you instead of me sitting down watching people and judging them from my house i would rather not follow you like if you're doing something that i do not agree with or it does not align with me i would rather not follow you than having you on my timeline every day and then when i see you i'm triggered and i'm always talking about you i'm always talking judging you oh why are you doing this why are you doing i would rather not follow you i would rather not be a part of that you get what i mean like i would rather not follow you than sit down watch you every day and i'm like oh why are you doing this why are you doing? like it's just it's, it's too much 
one thing about judgmental people is that they will never like if you're judgmental if you're being overly judgmental you can never get to that point that that person is not necessarily that you want to get to that person's position if you actually get that person's position you're going to be happy but the problem is because you are always the one sitting down to judge and talk about people you will never be able to get there do you know why because you are scared that people are going to talk about you you are scared that people are going to judge you you are scared because you've already told these people that this can never be you i will never do this i will never do that why do you think when it's your turn people are not going to do the same to you if you're being overly judgmental you will never be able to get far like you you cannot get far you already have it at the back of your mind that people are going to talk about you you're scared of being judged you are scared because you're doing it if you don't want people to do it to you then stop it because this life is give and take it's what you give that you're going to receive so if you're always giving out hate, always gossiping, always talking about people, always being judgmental of other people, be rest assured, when it's your turn, people are going to do the same to you. Grow up, man. Like, grow up. Everybody has to grow up. Instead of me talking about you, instead of me judging you, I'd rather not follow you. Better I'm not seeing your post, that then I don't have anything to say than following you, seeing your post all the time. Because I'll just be triggered and anything that triggers me, you will never find me there. I know my trigger. So whatever triggers me, you will never find me there. Be it people, you can never find me people that trigger me. Let people be. Let people have peace. Anything that works for anybody, they should do it. It's not your life. Like, just let people be. If judging people gives you peace, continue. No one lies. Number seven, take responsibility of your life in the best way that you can. This is hitting the nail on the head. If you need to change the job, change it. If you think you've done this business for too long and it's not bringing anything, change it. Take charge of your life. Change that friendship circle if it's not working for you. If you think that's not what you need, if you think it's too toxic, change it. This is something that always happens in life. People always stay where they are not needed, where they are not wanted. You go there and you know that these people are not even happy to see you. You are always going there. What are you going to do there? You don't need validation from anybody. You need to take charge of your life. There are 101 people that are good for you, that are out there. You don't need that man always to be the one to tell you, oh, you look good before you feel confident. You don't need him to tell you, oh, babe, don't do this, oh, babe, do that. You are not a child. You are a woman. A good man is going to always, like, be there for you and take charge of, like, take care of you and all of that. But you need to take charge of your life. There are a lot of decisions that you have to make for yourself. You are living this life more. Nobody has done this life before. Nobody knows it all. You are allowed to change jobs. You are allowed to change friendship circle. You are allowed to change your relationships. You are allowed to change whatever you want to change in your life. People even change their complexion. People even change their body shape. People even do surgeries all over their body just to look good. So what, what makes you think that you are not allowed to change something that needs to be good for you mentally? One thing I know about life is that change is constant. The things that I'm telling you now, three years ago, I didn't know all of this. Do you get like that shows that I'm growing, I'm evolving. And, and that's happening because I allow myself to, like I'm giving myself the grace to transform. I'm transforming myself. I'm giving my, the, myself the grace to learn. Like I'm taking charge of my life. I'm taking responsibility of my life. Nobody has to come and tell me, oh, you need to do this. I know everything I need to do. Well, not everything. 95% of whatever happens in my life is by decision. I'm not the kind of person that I always go to people for, oh, I need to go and ask this person for this. Do you think I should do this? Do you think I should do I will never do that. The times I did that in the past, I regret because they were not my decisions and they flopped. And whenever I go to people for advice and the decision that I make flops, it really eats me. Like, I always get upset with myself. If I make that decision myself and it flops, that one I can put it in my mind that, oh, it's my fault. I'm not going to beat myself to it. But if it's not me, Oh God, I beat myself to it so much. Like I beat myself to it hundred times and had tax. But if I do it myself, I'm like, okay, it was my decision. I was stupid. I was dumb. And then it's gone. Like I wouldn't even think about it anymore. Take charge of your life. You don't need anybody to validate you. You don't need validation, external validation. Not even from your friends, from your relationship, your, 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 your whatever. You don't need from your family. You don't need validation from anybody. You just need to take charge of your life. And let me tell you something. When you are taking charge of your life, it, it gives people that impression like it just makes people trust you the more because they know that oh this girl can handle herself this girl can really handle this business because she's doing well in this life in her life like currently her life is like like this like this so she can actually handle this business so they are going to give you their trust they are going to be able to let you in you get to do business with them those are the kind of things that you need to do you need to learn take charge of your life my darlings nobody is going to come and save you i know sometimes we women were like oh we're just going to get married to somebody that is rich and then we're going to be fine and blah blah no Prince Amin is coming on a horse to save you. 
I mean, there are people that get married to like rich men or whatever, and then their life change and all. But that's not everybody's destiny. And even some of those girls that put themselves in that position to be able to attract this kind of people. But if you're not working on yourself, like if you're not putting yourself in that spot, nobody's going to come for you. You're, be rest assured, you cannot, you can never attract those kind of people because best believe those men too they are not looking for a refract or they are not looking for somebody that does not know themselves they are not looking for girls or women that cannot make decisions for themselves because like it or not women are the neck for men men want women that are in charge of their lives if you are not in charge of your life you can never be in charge of another person so why do you think they will come to you if you are not taking care of yourself if you are not making decisions for yourself if you cannot stand up for yourself why do you think anybody will come to you nobody's going to come to you to do business with you to, to you talk about marriage or relationship whatever nobody's going to come and tell you anything take charge of your life well this is the end of this video guys i hope this video has helped somebody i've just been led to say this and i love and appreciate you guys for always coming this channel is about upgrading. this channel is about building self-confidence this channel is about leveling up if you're watching my videos for the first time please don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and see you guys on my next video guys love you